Welcome back, Ohio Valley. Here's a look at temperatures right now across the region. We're all enjoying it. It feels like uh, fall it's starting to really feel like fall here across the board. 60 degrees downtown Wheeling, 64 over in Columbus. We are in for a big chill. Don't let it fool you. I know it feels nice out there with sunshine present. If you're waking up early like myself, you're waking up to temperatures in the upper 30s over the next two days. So keep that in the back of your mind. Maybe give yourself another 10 minutes just to preheat the car and get out and about. But after that, we'll head into the weekend. We won't have to worry about it. We're not going to be freezing anymore. There is going to be some frost, but it's going to be very patchy where we see that because the wind speed is going to pick up. We're going to see a passing cold front, and that's what we're going to see as we head through tonight. Not going to see any rainfall, just our temperatures dropping. Really the talk of the town. Let's talk about it. Hurricane Milton downgrading right now. Notice how uh, the, the hook, we're, we're not re necessarily seeing the eye anymore. It's kind of filling itself in. That's good news. That means it's going to weaken, but also we have to keep in mind cycling. Storms like to cycle. They like to filter in some sunshine, and there it is. We're starting to filter in some sunshine. That's going to allow everything on the back side of the storm to fire up this afternoon and evening when we get close to 3, 4, 5 p.m. We're already seeing tornadoes across the board. Rainfall, not to mention, check it out. Here's how much we're seeing. Anywhere between four, well, board across, I mean, four to six inches. So in that red, closer to pink, that's when we start to get closer to the nine inches of rainfall. I expect most of this rainfall actually to fall south or north of I Interstate 4, sorry, Interstate 4 here. This is the divider right here through Tampa into Orlando. So north of Interstate 4, this is going to be your big flood zone everywhere down to the southwest here, not to mention over here into Daytona. Gainesville just east of it because what you're going to see is it eventually moves over here and then does the same thing on the east side there. It's just hitting them with a bunch of rain. So down, down there's your tornadoes. We're checking out the purple boxes with Hurricane Milton. The track still not much of a, of a change a little bit down to the south now, now of Tampa. That's really going to put everybody down here in that front right quadrant. That's where you see the most devastating winds, not to mention those bands that come through and they pick up with some tornadic activity. So that's why you're seeing all those tornadoes down here. If you have family members down here, Tell them to keep an eye on those radar and on those bands. Look for the active portion. That's where those tornadoes are going to be. Up here, you're going to watch out for that flood, that flash flooding. That's where you're going to see most of that activity. Eventually, this all moves over, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. There's going to be a storm surge through parts of uh, Georgia and South Carolina, but North Carolina, we're really not seeing that much of an effect, just some cloud coverage. Right now, wind speeds right around 145 miles per hour, so we're sitting Category 4 almost category five here. It is downgrading right now, but remember it's going to recycle and it's going to gain some strength before this afternoon and even closes out. It needs some sunshine and we're tapping out on that right now, but here's a look at it. Cloud coverage pushes down with our cold front tonight. That's all we're going to see. Temperatures drop. We're not gonna, really going to see any uh, rain, but what we will see is the potential for our cloud coverage just lingering around up until about lunchtime. After that, it's just the intermixing of the warm and the cold. After that, we clear back out and we have a nice Thursday night. We'll head into Friday, exactly the same concept, a little bit cool out there. We slowly warm back up as we head into this weekend. There it is, 70 degrees Saturday into Sunday, perfect football weather. If you want to head to Morgantown and kind of tune all this hurricane weather out, I understand you. It looks like it's going to be a rather good game. Iowa's a good team. Sunday, some spotty rain rolls through. It could linger into Monday morning, early hours for Columbus Day, but then we start to push all that out. And then temperatures, they drop. We're going to drop back in the upper 50s and then really struggle to climb back up as we head Tuesday into Wednesday. But all right, I guess it's fall after all.